Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret. Reading today, beginning in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, 1 Corinthians 14, verse 34. And the Bible says, Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church. This verse and this command goes over like a lead balloon in 21st century America, and sadly, goes over like a lead balloon in 21st century American modern evangelicalism as well. I'll never forget hearing one modern evangelical woman. I, this, was, this was probably 30 years ago. Things have gotten a lot worse, but this was 30-some years ago. I was in a Bible study with her. I wasn't leading a Bible study. I was just there. And there was some discussion time, and she spoke up, and she said, I, I am just so offended by the—this is how she said it. I am just so offended by the Apostle Paul. He just—I feel so degraded as a woman because of what Paul says. Hey, lady, and I use the term loosely, hey, female, why don't you get it through your skull— that what Paul is saying in his word is the word of God. You just demeaned the word of God. What a what an ungodly, disgusting attitude. And her husband sat right next to her and didn't say a word. She probably speaks that way to him too. I don't like that. Ugh. Oh my goodness. I'll never forget that. Talk about renouncing God's word, attacking the writer, the Holy Spirit inspired writer of scripture, Paul, because you don't like it. It offends you as a woman. Too bad, lady. Then repent and you won't be so offended. Can't conform the word of God to what, what it makes you feel like as a woman or as a man or as a child. Who cares? What difference does it make? If you don't line up with scripture and your thinking doesn't line up with scripture, then you need to repent. And that goes for men, women, and children, and anybody else. Workers, Politicians, whatever, who cares? Preachers. And by the way, this is not a cultural command. And there is nothing in this text that would suggest that it was just for the Corinthian church alone. The fact is, while the church service is going on, women are to remain silent because that's what God is saying. They are not to teach. And it is not our business to ask God why, because it's the Lord's church, and it's his business, and it's his word, and it's his command, and it is clear and concise and precise, so there's no way that you can misinterpret it, unless you don't want to hear it. God doesn't need to say anything and explain anything to 21st century Americans, because we are not commanded to live by explanation. We are commanded to live by the word of God, and by faith in what God says, like it or not. Study all of God's word with me at the Scripture Verse by Verse website found at the Bible Verse by Verse dot com. Go there, choose, click, listen. From four complete series going through the entire Bible, verse by verse, going on five. If you'd like to be a part of Scripture Verse by Verse, it's really easy. Pray for me and God's word. Do it right now while you're thinking about it before you forget. Write a note, put it on the refrigerator door, the bathroom mirror, pray for Mike, pray for God's word, and keep praying, and keep praying. And when you take a break from studying with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the donate button, prayerfully give as the Lord may lead, because that also makes you a part of this ministry. See you next time on Coffee Break.